our longest trusted English newspaper since 1898. Now available digitally. Computer, order the Manila Times Digital Edition. Subscribed. Get the Manila Times Digital Edition for less than 2 pesos and 50 centavos per day when you sign up for one year. The Manila Times, new source of choice, trusted since 1898. Good day. Here are the stories for the Manila Times for Monday, May 23, 2022. The Senate will hand over the certificates of canvas and election returns to the House of Representatives early today, raising the possibility that the new president and vice president could be proclaimed this week. On Tuesday, the Senate and the House will, in joint session, start to canvas the votes in the 2022 presidential and vice presidential elections. The winners will be proclaimed soon after. The Senate Public Relations Information Bureau said on Sunday, the COCs and ERs will be transferred to the House at 4 a.m. As of May 19, 90.17 or 156 of the total 173 COCs have been delivered to the Senate, which checks the certificates before transmitting them to the House. The last certificates the Senate received were from Sulu Province and those from overseas absentee voting held in Washington, United States, Australia, Denmark, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, and Brunei. Interior Secretary Eduardo Anya has directed all local government units to seek out residents who are still unvaccinated against COVID-19, as well as those who are eligible for booster shots. Anya issued the directive following the detection of the highly infectious Omicron BA4 subvariant in the Philippines. He said the subvariant presents a threat since it can overcome the immunity provided by vaccination and prior infection. Each LGU was directed to maximize its resources to get the unvaccinated inoculated as a precautionary measure versus a more transmissible Omicron variant and possible community transmission. Senate leaders declared that nothing can stop Congress from canvassing the votes and proclaiming the winning presidential and vice presidential candidates once it convenes as the National Board of Canvassers this week. The Senate and the House of Representatives will jointly convene on May 24 to canvass the votes for president and vice president. Lawyer Victor Rodriguez, longtime chief of staff and spokesman for President-elect Ferdinand Bombo Marcos Jr., has been nominated to become the executive secretary of the incoming administration. With the nomination, Rodriguez has formally relinquished his duties as Marcos' spokesman. The University of Santo Tomas alumnus, who is also the president of the Quezon City Trial Lawyers League, is the latest addition to the initial list of names expected to serve in the Marcos cabinet. Over to business, a poll conducted by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas showed analysts expect the country's average inflation rate to exceed the government's target this year and at a faster rate than their prior projection. According to the results of a survey of 16 private sector experts, the average inflation outlook for 2022 has increased to 4.6% from 4.1% in the previous survey, the central bank noted in its latest monetary policy report. The forecast for 2022 was higher than the 4.5% average for 2021. It has matched the BSP's forecast of 4.6%, which is higher than the government's target of 2 to 4%. In sports, after being undefeated for six seasons with a record of 96 straight wins at the helm of the National University Lady Bulldogs team, Patrick Aquino is stepping down as the team's head coach and will pass the baton to his longtime assistant and former PBA player, Aris Dimaunahan. Giselle C, chief executive officer of the sponsoring Everbilena, confirmed this development to the Manila Times. Rigoberto Tiglao and Father Anilio Aquino are today's front page columnists. Tiglao hits out at scholars and academics who signed a manifesto against fake news, while Father Aquino shares his homily on the 40th year of his ordination to the priesthood. Today's editorial calls on the National Task Force to end local communist armed conflict to reassess its policies. Read a full version on the paper's opinion section or listen to the voice of the Times. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to its digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and keep up with the times. On behalf of the Manila Times, this is Eric John Seco reporting. Have a safe week ahead.